Finally, finally, finally! Of course, we are back with another Duck and Barrel video. Of course, here if you hear a like, really weird loud noises outside, people are riding the four-wheeler, so, so sorry guys got in mind. They've been doing that like all week and stuff like that, so um, it's just it's crazy right now. It's just uh, people been doing that and cleaning their grass early in the morning, so every time I walk my dog around like at least, I really want to say mainly around like, um, how can I say this? Around like 11 o'clock in the morning for me. I um, usually just what time I like because I always use to wake up like at 10 o'clock or whatever. And when I'm walking my dog around like 11, it's like, okay, let's just, you know, cut all our grass all at the same time. So it's literally almost every single day someone's cutting the grass. Somebody new uh, up the street or down here, especially near my window, like at literally almost perfect timing, it's always 9 or 11 p.m. Like, you know, 9 a.m., like 9 42 or 9 40, like 5 is the time I usually wake up and take my dog and stuff like that. Or, you know, they want to just cut it again, like right outside my window and wake me up. So I'm like, that's perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for interrupting my sleep. Thank you. Um, so yeah, we got a new, of course, guide I want to do for global. Um, I was going to do link level guide. Well, I was actually, originally I was going to do, um, the easy area right here for the, um, but, um, Bintonin or, you know, Batonin or, you know, 8-Bit Goku and 8-Bit Vegeta because, um, the EZA from, um, Ghost, Go Tank EZA. So I guess every kind of special unit, like, you know, the like Grandpa Gohan and Pan, um, Great Sandman, um, Trunks, uh, those what-if characters are going to probably be easy eating from here. Even probably the Int Bomo from last year as well. So yeah, you, of course, they have a card to awaken and stuff like that. I originally was going to do a video like this pan right here. Pan and Grandpa Gohan, I meant to say. Next year, I want to say this Bomo will probably wake, um, get easy. These two will probably get easy. Even though Trunks mainly is Halloween, he'll probably be... Um, this year, Halloween 2021, he'll probably get easy. And next year, I'll probably be Bomo for it. Because he was April Fool's unit last year um, of 2020, so, yeah, and again, on that time, my phone was, like, utterly messed up, I couldn't do anything, it was messed up for almost nearly a month, again, it was working here and there, but, that's why I had to get a new one, the new one I'm using right now is the iPhone XR. it's amazing, I love it, I've got about it so many, many videos, so, yeah, because we don't have the Vegeta Awakened, I don't think, it, I have him, like, ready, I just need to put my essay, I don't have this pan at all, because she's a support sub unit, and they only come back at least once a year, I think last year they came back, I think, because last year they all got their awakenings, one of the two, I can't remember, yeah, of course, the Butonic characters, you do have to have them, or 8-Bit Goku, 8-Bit Vegeta. You do, you do have to specifically have them awaken. So, again, I had to um, do that off-screen and stuff like that. Then I'll probably do those in the next couple of days. So, I was like, okay, I got some time, so I'll just do a um, PLR Trove update, because I want to kind of go over and do that, of course, kind of. So, um, yeah, I'm going to slowly, yeah, Butonic, Doku Butonic. Um, yeah, like that. So, yeah, I think they're supposed to be, like, from, from Dragon Ball Legacy game, I won't believe. I have Ghost and Ghost Tanks already waking. So, yeah, all that was, like, Halloween and stuff. So, yeah. And I figured, also, you know, I already got so much stuff up already. I might as well just do this really quick. So, of course, the Pilot Trove, I want to go over that for Global. This specifically where, you know, just kind of came out with all that. Oh, yeah, it's going to be for whales and stuff like that. But, no, you can actually get special packs and stuff like that. Like, right now. Currently, for, for actually really one example right now, you can just get, like, different packs and stuff like that. Actually, I'll come back to that. Oh, uh, you can get, like, different packs and stuff like that. So, um different packs for like different Dogen Fest, other limited time packs or time capsule, daily um, exclusives, um, for, uh, daily capsule exclusive stuff right there. Ranking and of course, um, there have been a lot of times that I've been for Trove, so um, yeah. Uh, hidden Potential and of course, Wickening Medals and of course, Beginner's Medals, so beginning pack. Um, so yeah, again, this is just really, really kind of easy and simple to go over. Beginning pack has a couple, again, like medals. And then 15 Dragon Stones. This one actually, sometimes they are worth it. But half the time they are really worth it in the world nowadays. Because a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, how do I get this? How do I get that? But it's like, you know, it is, I mean, it's kind of all right here. Um, get five grand, um, five, um, Sleepy Kai's. Um, two, um, what, um, Hercules, um, Platinum Hercules statues, I believe? Yeah, Platinum, okay. Um, I always get the other ones confused and stuff like that. Of course, medals and stuff like that. Um, what you can do also easy, because half this stuff you can just farm out really easily in the game already, so... You don't really need that much, that much, but... Again, um, anything I can... Anything you can use if you're a beginning player, this is actually is really worth it for you. There's 15 stones right there. You can only purchase it once, but I believe it got refreshed recently, not that long ago, but... Maybe, like, last year or whatever. So, yeah, again, they forgot about that. I think they also forgot about... There was, like, a blue stone in there. That's been there since, like... Christmas, I think, of, 20, of 2019, I believe. They've been there for a long time. Then, of course, you got these power-up packs. So, basically, it has, like, again, more Wicked Middles training items. Platinum Troll Shields. Again, if you really want to get more, more Platinum Troll Shields, do the Master Roshi event every day. And there's no excuse. A lot of people are going to be like, Oh, why? I want to do the Master Roshi event. I don't want to do it. Even if you don't have Peppy Gals, you, know, you can still have a chance. You still have a chance to get... I think it just in general, like, it guaranteed drops these Platinum Troll Shields. So, does it really matter, though? But of course, we got the Mysterious Packs. Yeah, these packs aren't really worth it. Oh, yeah, 100 Kettlebell Gems are good, though. But, you know, if, you don't, if you're doing the lazy route and don't want to farm it, that's typical and easy as it is. So, yeah. Of course, we got the, um, because the medals and stuff like that, of course. Again, this is not, like, they got a diamond purple. Um, 
Like, that's the one. I always got those confused. So the SSR is platinum. Because they kind of feel the same a little bit, though. Because, you know, the SSR is platinum and stuff like that right here. And it's, it's different and stuff like that, though, of course. So, yeah. Of course, you got a special um, tickets right here, like this Hercule. For, this, this Hercule ticket right here is just basically for the, um, again, they have, like, exclusive banners, like the Hercule ticket right here. You can use it to get the ticket um, for Hercule's um, thing will blow up. Um, it's like a Hercule summon, it's like a special summoning banner just for Hercule statues. Even though you can do it, like, get that really easily half of the time. But Incredible Gems are really worth it, though. They are really, really worth it. Just because that, um, in the longer run, of course, in the game, of course, the game is going to encounter Incredible Gems, how to get them and stuff like that. That's going to be the biggest question. How to get them, how to do this, blah, blah, blah. I know that's going to be the typical thing. For newer, for older players, we already know how it is. We have more experience with the game. But for newer players specifically, they're not going to have, like, you know, like 2.0 everything up in here. So, yeah. Um, those packs are a little bit high, but you don't really need to go that far to get them. Even if you're a new player, don't spend that much money. If you want to spend money, if you really, really have a lot of it, like a stimulus check or whatever, which came in recently, um, I think this month of March. This is not even March right now. It's April. Um, right now, this month's going is April. I don't mind. Everybody got, like, a lot of stimulus checks. Um, I'll probably say even then, like, this is not really worth it because you're just getting stuff that you can normally get in the game already. And I say it's not really worth it, in my opinion. Even me, I say no. The beginning pack is way better. If you're trying out in the game, I probably say go ahead and get this because you can just if you have some money to drop, it's only what not 10 bucks now. Yeah, 10 bucks. It's still even 10 bucks in day one. You can only get it once though. So specifically those ones you can only get once. Because we've got like him potential packs, and they're just, they're just all the same. Like pretty much gravity chamber, spring Cairo, and bubble points. Again, you can like for all these again, they have daily events, but at the same time, if you're like, a newer player, there's not even enough to fill out a whole path. This is probably enough to fill out like um this little actually what? Um let me go to one where I don't have like a um, that's enough to at least fill out, like, what? Like, a nah. Um, probably, like, let me see. Actually, I'm gonna go to I don't, didn't really use, never did have already. Um, who do I not have on here? That's at least enough to fill out, like, what? It's like, what, 300? So, yeah, like, almost, like, just this path right here. 600, 600, okay, so, let's do, like, this. Uh, let's go here. Yeah, that's not really just, like, halfway fill up a path. Like, that's not really enough. Like, it's really not, like... You see, like, all the other using right now, right? Like, look, that's, like, half enough to fill up the path. You're not even gonna have, like, enough... It's, it's, yeah, it loses you 600, so, yeah. That's pretty much, like, a mini path right there, and that's not enough to fill up your character. I just put the 18 up as, as an example. That's really, really not enough to fill up a whole pack, so those are not really worth it either. Um... They're okay if you want to drop something, but they're all pretty much the same. Again, Gravity Chambers actually are really good, though, unless you know you want to form the Future Trunks event, which comes back pretty often nowadays. Like, almost every other celebration, every, like, three or four celebrations usually, though, so... Um, you could probably just honestly do that, though. That's actually really good and worth it as well. Bubble Points are actually really good as well, but nowadays you can just easily, easily farm it out now, so... You don't, you don't really need to struggle, like, that, that hard for it, though, but, um... Again, like I said, um... These ones are actually really, really good, though, in my opinion, though. Bobble Boy is actually really, really worth it, but they're all pretty much the same. You can purchase it at least once, I think, and then they reset, I think, every single day. These aren't really worth it either. I mean, it's only 20 bucks, but you're really just, these are not enough orbs to fill even one path. Like, you saw what just happened. I have a whole bunch of orbs already. Like, if you want to go see my orbs, again, I'm ready for that coin update when it comes to global, because if you don't know, um, and then, like, now or whatever, because global, I mean, JP already has, like, the next update pretty much already coming and stuff like that. I repeal off Trove for, um, global, for JP and stuff like that. Um, but yeah. Um, because again, with the global, they are getting a coin update soon. But like, for example, we can sell units for coins. Like, for example, we're not free units, but we can sell, like, other special summonable units for coins. Like, for example, but they do have to actually be rainbow. Like, for example, um, I'll go with, um, I'll go with, who I remember? Okay, let's go right here, for example. You can summon and get this Goku, right? But, um, he, I'll, I'll use another example from my chain battle video. Um, you can use, you know, coins, stuff like, you can sell them with coins, like, for example. He's in, like, you know, he's SR and stuff like that, right? And it also comes to an update where you can sell SSRs now. Um, for example, you can have a, a UR, I think it can be Rainbow SSR or UR, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, I think even if you don't awaken it to UR, I believe it still counts. But even then, now, um, his SSR right here, like, stuff like that, you can actually sell stuff like that. So, for example, we have him rainbow and stuff like that right here. For example, I have my rainbow right here, right? I either choose to keep the SSR or sell it for coins. Like, for example, if I summon to get him from a, um, let me go back. If I summon to get him, for like example, from this Pycon Doka Fest banner that's actually live up right now. Um, if I could summon and get him, um, okay, my thing, okay, sorry, I had to do it on my thing, a little bit on my phone. Um, hey, yeah, for example, if I summon and get him from, like, you know, this type of banner, right? Um, I can sell him and get it with coins. 
easy as that. I can tell me get him with Doka Pass going specifically. Like, for example, if I go in, because, you know, when it updates, can have like a little summon tab, like, okay, you can use these units, sell them for coins. For example, if I have them on here, I can just go, like, special treasure right here and sell them for coins and stuff like that. It's like trading points. You can kind of sell them for trading points. Um, yeah, again, the, the, again, the unit has to actually be rainbow in your box to confirm, to not, or, confirm or deny it. Like, for example, he's rainbow right now. Um, but again, the update's not beneficial right now. Like, for example, keeping SSRs, like, for me, I have, like, um, so what's for Gogeta? I do have him on here. Yeah, I have him like right here. I have him rainbow right here. For example, I actually perfect example. I have him fully rainbow and stuff like that. And of course, when he, and I have S, and I have his um, SSR rainbow or you know TR whatever once you want to count. I have them both right. But right now, not beneficial because they cannot. That does not implement it right now. And any even if it was even if it was right now, if you knew it beforehand, like again, like for example, one this banner cannot count it. But the next banner, like the defense banner that comes out, will count. So again, it's not beneficial right now. But for I man, for global right now, keeping the SSRs are kind of beneficial. It will count, like the SSRs and stuff like that will count. But summoning and getting coins for units and stuff like that will not count. For example, if he was, if he was, if he was, on, if he was on like a blue coin banner, I can sell him blue coins that have not defense or legendary summon. And for legendary summons, I can sell him. Again, Get yellow coins, which actually will be really worth it because those banners like flood you with units and stuff like that. I say, don't I say double weight banners are more worth it because you know, when the type leaders come around, you could try to get your best shot to getting them there. But I feel like it's not really beneficial right now. But again, the whole update will come like for global probably before the anniversary. But again, like I said, for example, I have SSR right here ready to go. Of course, I have TUR rainbow fully rainbow. So yeah, I put my I just put that Godia as an example because I already had him kind of already done. I gave him for chain battle just for the memes, but um, yeah. Again, champ battle for that, they actually made ones are pretty good. So yeah, those are pretty okay. You don't really need all of that though. So yeah, um, I know right here the pa regular packs are actually pretty okay as well though. You got some pretty good stuff in here. There's the force. Okay, yeah, it's not, yeah. Oh yeah, you get orbs too. I mean, you get um equipment too. I didn't see that before. Oh yeah, orbs are here a little bit more beneficial, and you get meat too. This has to really, really worked it though. Um, and both are really short though. But I think depending how you rank up and stuff like that, yeah, you had to um the box space. Yeah, this actually is really good though. Like having these rainbow packs are actually really, really good. I think they updated because I think before was 200. Yeah, it, yeah, that's actually really worth it because, you know, equipment slots, um, of course. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, that's really good right there. Yeah, that is worth it. So, yeah, again, these are a little bit more beneficial, so it's worth it, though. But if you want to try to get the Ringo packs, I don't, I'm not stopping you. It's actually all really good right here. I uh, mean, these were only specifically, if you, I think only he had to be, I think, the rank specifically or because I'm already, I'm already like 600. So, yeah, um, but also on top of that, I think we have another one right here. For daily capsules, so basically you get like, of course, when you first purchase it, you'll get one stone, but you'll get two stones um, as you log in every single day. But um, as you note and stuff like that, again, if you like, for example, like log in one day, you miss the, ne you miss the next day. Sorry that zone's gone for that time. So yeah, again, this one between the 15 months, uh, 15 days, this one 30 days, at least a month right here. So again, this one's actually really, really worth it as well. Like these two are actually pretty solid. Rank is pretty okay. It can get a little bit pricey because look at those prices, but busy here in Canada, Ayo. Um, these are actually really worth it right here, though, in my opinion, though. So, yeah, I'd probably say go for, like, potentially this a little bit, and this actually is going to be really good. Um, then, of course, we get the special ones, limited ones, where basically, again, if you have, like, dual dark and fast banners and stuff like that, um, right here? Did I? I okay, my scroller did not want to work. Okay, there we go. I don't know what happened there, okay? That's, that's really weird. Um, okay. Um, because <clears throat> usually you can scroll down with that tab right there. Um, okay, that's, okay, that's good. Um, these codes are the, are the, um, you know, these ones actually are really worth it also. The limited ones are actually really worth it because you can get coins, like, you can get tickets right here. And for global, okay, maybe, you know, summon and stuff like that. Uh, um, if you summon stuff like that, like, right now, is actually, yeah, like, summoning right now and stuff like that, you already will get tickets as you summon, no matter what. And plus, you can try to, you know, get your chance to get some of these tickets as well. These are actually really worth it as well, especially legendary summon banners. Just got them. Like, for example, Pycon and Jimbo's banners are up right now. You can buy and get tickets from Pilaf Trove. So I'm going to get tickets, even though these are discounts right here. Like, these are all just discounts right here. Um, first three, are, these are the, for the first three ones. Then, of course, you get the, you know, first, first three, get one free. That's how it is for these type, dual, type of dual Doka Vest banners. But also, on top of that, um, yeah, but also on top of that, um, you will, um, just summon in general, just get tickets and stuff like that, um, as you summon and stuff like that, and of course, um, these are always global exclusive stuff, but now JP is gonna get, so global, if, for example, this can be the download celebration banner, just bring this up as an example, you can get, um, coins, you can get, of course, discounts, the first, first three months will be, dis the first 
buy the first buy three get one free because there'll be discounts right here and then on top of that boom right here you can try to get your chance of getting some stuff here without summoning oh sorry without um you know summoning and stuff like that right here you don't yeah you don't have to probably maybe summon as much maybe spend a little bit of money though because it's actually really worth that i didn't see the price right here um this is actually really worth it though because you can you know summon get these tickets and stuff like that you know you know someone get tickets but if maybe it's not on one or just want a couple more get have a little bit of money left you can use it here and stuff like that so actually that's actually really good you know it comes off a jp i'll go for a lot a little bit more but this is just a main kind of global guide on how to get it and stuff like that and of course you know for these type of bags too what you got to purchase one to get the other like for example right here you had to purchase that one to get this yeah you had to purchase the pike on one to get the second one right here um of course it does get a little bit more pricey as it goes up dang 32 bucks for all that it's actually really crazy it's actually really really crazy though right there so yeah but i can go ahead and video here like i said but yeah below trove is actually really worth it for global now when it first came out it was like oh yeah it's for whales and stuff like that but in the longer run it's actually really worth it the beginner's worth it awakening, awakening is pretty okay and stuff like that of course potential orbs don't even touch this um Rank's pretty solid, and of course, yeah, the capsules are really good. And of course, Limited's really good. Again, the Doka Fest coins you can buy and stuff like that. That's going to save you a lot of money. But on top of that, we do have also special banners down here as well for like, um, for the pillow trove, like right here. Like this banner right here, of course. Again, these units, again, if you're like a new player, you're hunting for these units, they're all actually really, really good though. So that's going to be really worth it more in the longer run. Uh, especially with the coin update later on, you can, um, but with the same name update and the like coin update later on, that's going to be beneficial. This is a Hercule banner I was kind of just talking about and going over, though. But I think I remember it long enough. So, yeah. See you guys later, though. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Great life. All cool again, though. Make sure you always stay safe. Wash your hands. God bless. All of you. If you're going out, put your mask. Do some toilet paper. If you really, really need it. I'm joking. Do not like about the video. So, what do you guys think about the Peel of True update? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Oh, yeah. I'll have a prime bottle Krillin. I have a video for him as well. I got so many mobile videos to do. No. So, yeah. See you guys later, though. Again, though. It's out.